Happy day 29 of gratitude. We're almost there. You guys should be so proud. Let's start in a comfortable seat. You could do crisscross applesauce or half lotus. Sitting up nice and tall. Arms come out. Open your chest. Shoulders away from your ears. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Now, I said I wanted to do a few ohms with you guys towards the end of our practice. This is just kind of to get into like a meditative state and it's just really peaceful. It's zen, it's comforting. So what you're gonna do is take a nice big deep breath in and listen to me the first time. On your exhale, uh, syllables. Ah, uh, mm. Okay, let's try it together. We're going to do two more. Deep breath in. Ah, um. Deep breath in. should be clear. Mine does. Hopefully yours does too. Okay, let's take a deep breath in. Arms overhead. Hands come together. Exhale and squeeze those arms against your ears. Breathe in. Bring those arms back down. Exhale. Squeeze. Breathe in. Exhale. Squeeze. And arms come down. Breathe in. Reach it over to the right. Exhale. Make sure you keep your neck in line with your spine. So we're not like this. This is why I keep my arm almost straight, but tipped. Because I don't want to cock my neck. It's not good for the spine. Breathe in to come up. And let's come over to the left, exhale. Keep, make sure both glutes are on the mat as well. It's not about how far we can stretch over. It's about keeping your spine in line and getting that nice side stretch. All right, a couple shoulder rolls. Three one way, three the other way. And then we're going to walk forward, bringing forehead to the mat, or maybe you need to stay up on your forearms. That's okay. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Slowly walk it up. And now see if you can walk forward, coming into tabletop. <clears throat> And then we're gonna come down on our elbows. Make sure your knees are in line with your hips and elbows in line with your shoulders. You really wanna tighten your core. Breathe in. Lift your right leg. Exhale, pulse. Breathe in. Exhale, pulse. Bring it down. <clears throat> Let's take it to the other side. Breathe in. Left leg comes out. Square those hips. Tighten that core. Exhale. Breathe in. 
Exhale. Bring it down. <clears throat> From here, we're going to slowly try to bring our chest towards the mat and come into puppy pose. Forehead touches the mat. Deep breath in. Exhale. You should feel a nice stretch in your upper back, an opening in your shoulders. One more deep breath in. Exhale. And let's come onto our tummies. Bring your hands down to the mat. Feet come together. We're going to breathe in. Exhale, lift those feet. Lower them down. One more deep breath in. Really press into the mat with your hips. Exhale, lift. And lower it down. One more time. Breathe in. Exhale, press into the mat and lift. And lower it down. Hands come under your shoulders, curl your toes under. Rise up into downward dog, walking it out. Deep breath in. Exhale, stretch those heels towards the mat. Bring that chest towards your thighs. <clears throat> On our next breath in, we're gonna lift our right leg to three-legged dog. Open up those hips, stack those hips, peek through. Breathe in, exhale, bring it through the center, step it up, lower down, rise up, Woo! rise up, I don't know what happened there, jeez Louise, deep breath in, hands to heart, exhale, and twist over to your right. You, your um, hand should want to be almost to the center of your chest. Elbow up to the sky. You can sink deeper into that hip if you want. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. One more deep breath in. Exhale. Come back through center. Fingertips to the mat, curl that back foot under, frame that foot, come into a plank. Deep breath in, exhale, come forward, lower it down, breathe in to come up. Cobra or upward facing dog, exhale, curl those toes under, come back to downward dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, deep breath in, left leg comes high, open it up, stack those hips, exhale, and breathe in, step it up, exhale, lower that back leg. <clears throat> Arms overhead, breathe in, hands come to heart. Exhale, over to the left, twisting. Take two breaths. Come back through the center. Hands bring that foot, curl the back toes under. Come into a plank, chaturanga, breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in, come up to Cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Walk it out. Next breath in, right leg comes high. Breathe in, exhale. Right knee to right elbow. Hold it, take a breath. Breathe in. Right leg comes high, exhale, over to the left. Take a 
breath. Breathe in, right leg comes high, and step it up. Stay up on that back leg. Breathe in, squeeze those inner thighs. Rise up, arms overhead. Take a breath. Hands to heart. Breathe in. Twist it over to the, to the right. Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. Hands frame that foot. Listen carefully. From here, I'm going to come into a one-legged plank. And then I'm going to lower down. And then from here, we're going to, instead of just lifting the legs this time, we're going to lift our legs and our chests, locust. So you're going to breathe in, exhale, lift it up, and lower it down. Breathe in. Exhale, lower down. One more time, breathe in, exhale, and lower it down. Hands come under the shoulders, curl those toes under, come into downward dog, walking it out. On our next breath in, left leg comes high, three-legged dog, exhale, left knee to left elbow, take a breath, three-legged dog, left leg to right elbow, take a breath, three-legged dog, step it through center, stay lifted on that back leg, pop up on those fingertips. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Breathe in. Exhale. Arms overhead. Breathe in. Hands to heart. Exhale. Twist to the left. Take two breaths. And frame that foot. Let's come into that one-legged plank and slowly lower down. Baby Cobra, lift your, just your chest off the mat, lift those hands, exhale, breathe in, exhale, lower down. Curl those toes under, come back into downward dog, walk it out. Slowly roll forward to plank. Take a breath. Come back into downward dog. Breathe in. Exhale. Roll it forward. Come back to downward dog. Last one. Breathe in. Exhale. On our next breath in, right leg comes high. Exhale, come through the center, look forward. Breathe in. Exhale, look forward. Breathe in. Exhale, look forward. Step it up. Walk that foot over. Lower on your back leg. Come down to your elbows, forearms. Lizard variation. Take three breaths. Open up on the side of that foot. Take three breaths. And bring it back in. Slowly walk that leg all the way over to 
the other side and lower it down. Pigeon pose. Walk those hands up. Forehead can come to the mat or you can stay up on your forearms. Take three breaths. Walk it back up. Curl the back toes under. And we're going to come into a one-legged plank. Lower down. Cobra, upward facing dog. Breathe in. Exhale. Curl those toes under. Downward dog. Walking it out. Take a breath. Next breath in, left leg comes high. Exhale, come forward, look up. Breathe in, three like a dog. Exhale, come forward, look up. Breathe in, exhale, come forward. Step it up. You could step it up and then walk it over or just bring it over to the side of your mat immediately. Whatever's more comfortable, then lower down. Foot is flat, come down to your forearms. Take three breaths. And roll onto the outside of that foot, opening that hip up. Take three breaths. From here, pop up on those fingertips, walk that foot over. Just kind of shuffling and come into pigeon. Walk it up. Staying up on your forearms or coming down to your forehead. Take three breaths. Walk it back up. Pop up on that back foot. Come into one-legged plank. Lower down. Cobra. Curl those toes under. Downward dog. Walk it out. Bring your belly to your thighs. Look forward towards your thumbs. Bounce, breathe in, and hop. Coming into forward fold. Grab those elbows, sway it out. Halfway lift, straighten that spine. Breathe in, exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, slowly rise up. Exhale, arms overhead, hands to heart. All right, I'm gonna throw a new balancing pose in. It's, it's not an easy one, but it's something we can work towards. So, standing up tall, slight bend in the knees, hands come to heart. Right foot is evenly pressed into the mat. I'm going to cross my left leg over and I'm gonna start sitting back and then twisting, bringing my elbow to the inside of that foot and take three breaths. back, rise up, lower that foot down. If that was too much and you found that you're just too wobbly, falling, 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 just do the normal, cross the leg over and sit back into chair and keep your hands at heart center. 
and we'll just work towards it. Let's take it to the other side. Small bend in the knees, left foot is really activated. I'm pushing into the mat, not hard, but just making sure all four corners of my foot are in the mat. I'm gonna cross that leg over. I'm gonna sit back, slowly twisting. And I'm gonna take three breaths. Come back. See? It's not easy for me. So, what I was gonna say is come back through center. Stand up tall and then come down. Now let's do chair pose. Breathe in. Arms come up, exhale, sit back, tuck that tailbone in, tighten the core, open your chest, breathe in, exhale, sit down a little further, hands come to heart, twist it over, try to bring your hands to the middle of your chest, elbows towards the sky. Make sure knees are in line, so one knee should not be out further than the other. Deep breath in, exhale. See if you can open those hands up. One more deep breath in, exhale. Hands come back together, come through center, forward fold. Breathe in, exhale. Arms come behind your back. On our next breath in, we're going to rise up and sit back, exhale. Tuck that tailbone, open that chest, tighten that core, hands to heart, breathe in, exhale, sit back, twisting over to the left. More weight should be in your heels, so you should be able to lift your toes. Breathe in, exhale, open up those hands, breathe in, exhale, hands come back, come back to your center, forward fold. Slowly rise up, arms overhead, breathe in. Exhale, dive down. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Fingertips to the mat. Come back to a plank. Lower down on those knees, chest and chin. Take a breath. And let's come into tabletop. Knees are under hips, arms are under shoulders, core is tight, back is flat. I'm gonna breathe in, and I'm gonna open that left arm to the sky, exhale, and then I'm going to thread the needle, coming under that right arm. Now I'm on my left shoulder, left ear is on the mat. You can stay here, or, Breathe in, right leg comes out, so the opposite leg to the arm that you're laying on. Breathe in, exhale, lift that leg. Take three breaths. Slowly lower that leg down, bring it back in. Pop up on the fingertips and twist it open. Bring it back down to the mat. Let's take it to the other side. Breathe in, exhale, open up that right arm to the sky, twisting and thread the needle. 
Coming onto that right shoulder and right ear. Left leg comes out. Breathe in. Exhale, lift it up. Take three breaths. Bring it in. Slowly open up. Twisting. Come back to the mat. Walk those hands out. Curl those toes under. Come into downward dog. Deep breath in, exhale. Slowly lower the knees and suspend. Breathing in, exhale. Stretch those heels towards the mat, chest towards your thighs. Breathe in, suspend, exhale, stretch. On our next breath in, right leg reaches high. Exhale. Come in through the center, three taps. Breathe in, exhale, three taps. Breathe in, exhale, three taps. Breathe in, one more time, exhale, one, two, three. Step it up, lower on your back foot, turning it to the side. Come into extended side angle. So you can either bring your fingertips on the inside of that right foot and then open up, or you can bring your elbow to your knee, bringing your arm over your head. Take a deep breath in, exhale, open it up wherever you are, shoulders are stacked, take a breath, slowly Rise up, warrior two. 90 degree in that front leg. Arms come out, shoulders down, away from your ears, look over that middle finger. Breathe in, reach front. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Straighten up that front leg, reach it back. Come into triangle. I'm going to bring my hands down to the ground and I'm going to walk it to the center. Now both feet are facing this side of the mat. Reaching your head towards the mat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Right hand to left ankle, twist it open, look at your thumb, nice deep breath in, exhale, left hand comes to right ankle, breathe in, exhale, look up to the sky, one more breath, and bring it down. We're going to walk it over to the left side, extended side angle. Again, you can do up on your elbow or fingertips on the inside of that foot, shoulders stacked, breathe in, exhale, rise up, warrior two, gaze is over that middle finger, breathe in, exhale, reach front, Tip it back, extended side angle, straighten that front leg, tip it back a little further, breathe in, exhale, come down to triangle, breathe in, exhale, both hands come down, walk you through the center. See if you can bring your elbows to the ground. You can have a small bend in your knees. Breathe in, exhale, flat back. 
Walk it out as much as you can. And straighten your back. Take a breath. One more breath. And walk it back in. Hands come to the hips. Breathe in. Slowly rise up. Turn on that front leg. Turn on your back foot. And lower down. Come into a plank. We're going to do a chaturanga. Breathe in. Exhale. Slowly rise up. Breathe in. Exhale. Downward dog. Walk it out. Walk it out. Next breath in. Left leg comes high. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Three taps. Breathe in. Exhale. Last one. Step it up. Turn on that back foot. Extended side angle. Open it up. You can also have your um, elbow on your thigh if that's easier. Deep breath in. Exhale. Rise up. Gaze is over middle finger. Breathe in. Exhale. Reach front. Tip it back. Peaceful warrior. Don't lose that bend in the front knee. Breathe in, straighten that front leg, exhale. Tip it back a little further. Come through to triangle. Breathe in, exhale, walk it around. Foot turns this way, half, halfway lift. So I'm in a flat back position, forward fold. Grab your hands behind your back and let those hands fall towards the ground. You can have a slight bend in your knee. Breathe in. Exhale. Release. Walk it over. Now this foot is facing the back of the mat. I'm going to open up. Extend the side angle. Take a breath. Breathe in, come on up. Reach front, exhaling. Breathe in, tip it back, peaceful warrior. Exhale, straighten that front leg. Tip it back a little further. And come into triangle. Take a breath. Hand comes down, walk it around. Forward fold. Breathe in. Exhale. Halfway lift. Hands come to your hips. Slowly rise up, bending from the hips. Front leg turns to the front. And then if you need to heel toe those legs a little closer together, we're going to turn towards the front of our mat. Breathe in. Exhale. Step it front. Mountain pose. Standing up nice and tall. Deep breath in. Exhale. One more time. Deep breath in. Exhale. It's so good for your body to get the oxygen to the muscles and organs. Breathe in. Arms overhead. Exhale, dive it down. Halfway lift. Fingertips to the mat. Come into a plank. Lower down on your knees. Swing those legs around. And come to the middle of your mat. We're going to slowly lower down. 
Legs come up. We're going to come into eagle legs. So if you can't wrap that leg all the way around, just cross it over like so. Arms come up. Right arm comes under left. We're going to do eagle arms as well. If that's too much, just bring those forearms together. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Elbow to knee. It might not touch. That's okay. Breathe in to come back. Exhale. Bring those knee and elbows together. Do a few on your own. Breathe in. body for everything it does for you and showing up for you today. Such a special, special vessel that we carry our soul in every day. Just think about how miraculous it is that you're here on your mat doing these incredible movements with your body and it's working hard. It's pretty amazing. Anyway, all right. Back to reality, Katie. <laughs> Bring those uh, legs up overhead. Hands come behind your head. I'm using my thumbs as a support. Elbows are wide. I'm going to take a deep breath in. Exhale. Small crunch. Keeping that piece of fruit in between my chest and my chin. Now we're going to add a twist. Don't hold your breath. super long first or last name or both. <laughs> Maybe use your nickname or something. I don't know. I only have 10 letters in my name and wow, it hurts. It hurts. But in the best way, right? All right. Left leg comes down. Hug that right knee in. And we're going to twist it over. Open up. Make sure 
both shoulder blades are on the mat. You can look over that right arm. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. These twists are great for digestion, metabolism, your organs. It, it acts as a like a cleansing for your organs when we do these twisting motions. And hug it in. Lower it down. Left leg up. Twist it over. Keeping both shoulder blades on the mat. Look over your left arm. How many of you, since doing yoga consistently, daily, have had uh, like more consistent bowel movements? Sorry, TMI. But I have to say, I have not had an issue since I started doing yoga. It's pretty amazing. And my metabolism has never been faster. So between the muscle gain and you know, all the benefits of the yoga poses for our bodies, it's pretty, um, not pretty, it's very beneficial. Okay, uh, let's do bridge pose. So bring those feet in close to your thighs, uh, your glutes and your thighs, whatever, you know what I'm saying. You should be able to touch your heel with your thumb on both sides. Hands come down to the mat. Keep your knees in line with your hips. Take a deep breath in, exhale, lift up, you can clasp those arms underneath, breathe in, exhale, one more deep breath in, exhale, and lower it down. Let's do a cloud pose, feet come up. Deep breath in, exhale, bring it over. Straighten those legs out, hands can come to the small of your back. Deep breath in, exhale, deep breath in, exhale. Hands come to the mat. Keep your knees as close to your face as possible when you're coming down. Slowly, using your hands to slow you down. One vertebrae at a time. Very slowly. And hug those knees in. Go ahead and rock side to side. You should feel a nice massage in your lower back. Really nice. And last but not least, let's open up our legs wide. Flex your feet. And just breathe. Make sure your tailbone is down towards the mat. Go ahead and close those legs in. And hug it in one more time. Thank your body. And let's come into corpse pose. Find your most comfortable corpse pose. And get nice and comfortable. Relax your legs. Release the tension out of your glutes. Relax your upper body, relax your arms, relax your neck, relax your head, relax your face, relax your jaw, make sure your eyes are closed. I just want you to listen to the sound of your own breath and try to shut off your thoughts to the best of your ability. Go ahead and start now.
and wiggle your toes and your fingers. Gently open your eyes. And you can slowly turn to one side and then gently meet me in a seated position. Or you can rock and roll. I'm going to grab my two big toes with my ankles crossed. I'm going to stretch my legs back. And then I'm going to rock and roll a few times. Until I come into a seat. All right. Sitting up nice and tall. Hands come onto your knees. I just wanted to say what I'm grateful for. And while I do that, I want you to think of something you're grateful for. We're not in November anymore, but you know what? It never hurts to think of things that we're grateful for now at any time of the year. Um, for me, it's those of you who do my yoga, who believe in me, who support me. Uh, without you, I wouldn't be able to do this, what I love. So I'm truly, truly grateful for each and every one of you. Um, speaking of yoga, you know, gratitude is over in one more practice. So um, I'm not going to do another 30 day challenge until January, which is discovery. That's the name of this series because it's a new year. It's a new beginning. We're going to be discovering what our bodies can do as we continue to grow in our yoga journeys. And I think what I'm going to do over the rest of December is put up different yoga videos, um, but with a little bit more cardio kind of thing. And I'm going to call it yoga aerobics. <laughs> so it's going to kind of be like a small, quick series for the rest of December. Um, just a mini series. So anyway, all right, I've talked long enough. Let's go ahead and think of something about ourselves, inside or outside, that we love or we want to love, that we're aiming, striving to love. And let's think of just one positive thing about that part of us and repeat it a few times or a hundred times or however many times until you start to believe it. And lastly, think of an intention for today. Uh, mine is dishes. Ugh. And if you get to it, awesome, it makes you feel good. But if you don't get to it, it's okay. Don't let it get you down. We're not gonna look back and remember that we didn't get the dishes done today. Like, it's okay. Don't put so much pressure on yourselves. Not everything has to be perfect, right? All right, let's finish out this um, practice with a couple ohms. So bring your Hands to your heart, close your eyes, sit up nice and tall, take a deep breath in. Um, one more deep breath in. practicing with me today. I promise that will become less and less weird every time you do it. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for being here and practicing alongside of me. As always, it's an honor and a pleasure. Namaste, y'all. I hope to see you all for tomorrow's very last day of gratitude. Love you guys.